Hi there and welcome to The Water Report, your weekday gaming news for January 19, 2017. Micro Machines World Series has been announced for PS4, Xbox One and Windows PC by Codemasters. The game will arrive on April 21st, bringing with it HD visuals that will see you return to the garden, kitchen, workshop and other locations in all manner of miniature vehicles. In addition to classic game modes such as Race and Elimination, Micro Machines World Series also introduces new battle arenas as well as multiplayer modes such as Capture the Flag and King of the Hill. Micro Machines World Series will support up to 12 players online and 4 players on the same screen. We can't wait to find out more. Resident Evil 7 will be a cross-buy title on Xbox One and Windows 10, meaning that if you buy it on one platform you'll get it on both. The news was confirmed by Head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, on Twitter last night and at least give Microsoft something to boast about since the PS4 version is entirely playable using PlayStation VR. Resident Evil 7 arrives on January 24th. EA is once again skipping E3 in favour of its own event, EA Play 2017, which this year will take place in Hollywood. This year's EA Play event will be held on June 10th through to June 12th at the Hollywood Palladium. Games to be shown will no doubt include Battlefront 2, which is set to release this year, and with any luck, we'll also get to see Viz Real Star Wars game too, although we suspect that'll be a 2018 release. All the usual yearly titles will no doubt be shown also, so expect to see FIFA 18, Madden NFL 18, and NHL 18. Maybe we'll get some surprises too, because why not? Stardew Valley creator Concerned Ape has revealed that the game is coming to Nintendo Switch later this year, while a PS Vita version is also being investigated. The news comes via an update which also reveals that a new patch is on the way which will address issues with save files and also provide a few other fixes. Concerned Ape also revealed that he is currently working on a new control scheme for consoles to make playing the game easier. Ubisoft has purchased three style games from Activision. The developer which was responsible for the likes of Guitar Hero Live and DJ Hero will now become known as Ubisoft Wemington and will be working closely with Ubisoft Reflections in Newcastle as well as other international Ubisoft teams. Details of the Tekken 7 release date will be revealed next week. The game's official Twitter shared the free announcement last night, although no other details were specified. Tekken 7 is in development for PC, PS4 and Xbox One. Fire Emblem got a big Nintendo focus last night with news of the new games in the series. First up was Fire Heroes, which is coming to Android via Google Play on February 2nd with an iOS version to follow. The game will be free to play and sees players in a row of summoners calling up heroes from the whole history of Fire Emblem games to engage in strategic battle. Also shown is Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia, releasing for 3DS May 19, while Fire Emblem Warriors which was announced last week was also shown, with the release date set for autumn for 3DS and Switch. Finally, a brand new core Fire Emblem game is coming to Switch in 2018, although further details on that one are yet to be revealed. Ubisoft has detailed the For Honor Closed Beta, which takes place from January 26 to January 29, 2017 on all platforms. Players can select to play as 9 of 12 available heroes in 3 of the 5 multiplayer modes that will be found in the full release. These include For Honor Dominion 4 vs 4, Brawl 2 vs 2 and Duel 1 vs 1. Closed Beta players can also try out the Faction War for the first time. This is a cross-platform event where the three factions go at it in all-out war. There's still time to sign up if you haven't already done so. IO Interactive has confirmed that Hitman will support HDR from January 31st 2017 via a new game update. HDR support allows for more vibrant graphics and will complement the fact that the game already supports 4K resolution on the PS4 Pro. Platonic Games has revealed ukulele multiplayer play via a new video. In Rextro's arcade, players can unlock numerous games to play together, while the trailer also shows off the game's co-op, where a second player, the B-Team, can grab quills, collect butterflies, stop traps and help the main player clear obstacles. We've linked to the full trailer below our video. Ukulele releases an Xbox One, PS4 and PC on April 11th. Thanks for joining us for this latest water report. Please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for now. Bye.